that was Mayweather's reaction to what Tank Davis said about his contract being up after the Roley Romero fight. Mayweather feels that Javante Davis is doing a very good job of developing as a fighter. He also believes he did a great job in bringing Javante Davis up. And he says he put Javante Davis in the best and greatest fights. That is false. And people try to keep reminding me, Javante Davis is only 27 years old. But Javante Davis has been pro since 2013. At this stage of his career, even though he's only 27 years old, this guy should be in way better fights than he is in right now. He should not be fighting Roley Romero. He should be fighting like a Ryan Garcia, Lomachenko, who's been chasing him around for years, and TFMO Lopez. Those are the type of fights at this stage of his career, Javante Davis should be at that level. I don't think Floyd has enough confidence in Javante to put him in fights like that. So for Javante to get fights like that, he might have to go to a top rank, Eddie Hearn, or better yet, this will be a slap in the face, go to Eddie Reynoso. Fight under the Canelo and Reynoso banner. They currently do not have a 135 pounder. Remember, Ryan Garcia left. I also think Canelo can provide Javante Davis with a bigger stage. He draws already. He would draw more feet under the Canelo banner. And I know Mayweather wouldn't like it. It probably would hurt him. But what did Floyd Mayweather say? Javante Davis has got to do what's best for him. And maybe that option will be a better option than staying with Mayweather promotions. But we will see. I think Javante Davis, at the end of the day, is probably going to stay with Mayweather. He's just blowing smoke. Like Canelo and Reynoso kind of pushed him a little bit, like, hey, this is the fight yeah. to make unification. Yeah, Can Canelo don't duck nobody. He fights everybody at the end of the day. So you got to realize um, if he's in his ear, he's definitely telling him that's the fight that you need to have. And uh, you got to respect somebody like Canelo and Eddie Reynoso for making a fight. That was Shakur Stevenson giving props to Canelo Alvarez. Even though he said if me and Canelo was at the same weight, I would beat him, he still respects Canelo as a fighter. And he says Canelo doesn't duck anybody. He's like the third fighter in a row that said that, right? Was it Jamal Charlo, Errol Spence, who are both PBC fighters. And you now you got Shakur Stevenson, who believes that Canelo and Reynosa push Oscar Valdez to take the fight. When it was coming down between Oscar Valdez fighting Never Ready and Shakur Stevenson, Bob Aaron wants a Never Ready fight. I don't know if the numbers were right. According to Shakur Stevenson, the numbers wasn't coming out right. So then Bob pushed for the Shakur Stevenson, Oscar Valdez fight. And both fights are really good fights. But the one I want to see is a unification match between Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez. And a lot of people picking Shakur Stevenson to trash Oscar Valdez. I got Shakur Stevenson winning, but I still believe as long as the fight goes, Oscar Valdez has a puncher's chance. And I agree with Stevenson. Canelo doesn't duck anybody. He can't fight everybody. And more than likely, the fighter you want him to fight is ducking somebody waiting on that Canelo Powerball. And when it comes to Javante Davis and Mayweather promotions, if Javante Davis leaves, that's the end of Mayweather's promotions. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.